Welcome back. Welcome back. I We're. Just I tell you what. The camera come back on and people are gonna go. Ooh. There you go. We we've, we've got dinosaurs in the building along with Rich Kluke, who is the actual builder of these dinosaurs. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you. For Your fascination me. with dinosaurs started when? Oh, it started when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. My mother buying me modeling clay mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making little dinosaurs like from the King Kong movies and right. things like that. Right. And then I stayed interested in dinosaurs, uh, you know, through my teen years, just through basically dinosaur books. And then in my mid-twenties, I decided to try actual sculpting when I found out about uh, the material I could use to make the small ones that you're holding. Because these are clay. Yeah, that's a sculpting modeling compound, and you can okay. bake it in the oven uh, oh. to harden, really? mm -hmm. which was kind of neat. And uh, then it kind of... Uh, just hung on as far as just a general interest in dinosaurs until I retired and moved down here. Mm -hmm. And where I live in uh, Lakeview, I have a what I consider a, a good location, safe location, where I could actually have uh, the dream of my life, which was to have a life-size dinosaur on my lawn. And you have that, right? Uh, I have had nine of them. I'm down to okay. eight. Where's your house located? I'm located in Lakeview uh -huh. in the Glen Cove subdivision. Glen Cove is. On Wild Rose Drive. Well, what's your neighbors say about your, your uh, passion? I haven't, re uh, haven't received any complaints. Gone. My <laughs> wife said she's given me six more months. <laughs> and, you know, but no, I, everybody, I get a lot of visitors. A lot of people bring their uh, grandkids over, take pictures of them. Now, and, are mm -hmm. they all made out of this? Because like, this is styrofoam type stuff, right? They start off as styrofoam, uh -huh. and then they're either covered with fiberglass or okay. uh, in a urethane material called, called styro spray, which is a, like a thick paint, and you keep painting it on, and it becomes like a hard plastic shell. Uh, the bumps that you're seeing mm -hmm. are made from an epoxy clay mixture, which hardens in a couple hours. Uh, those are put on individually. Oh, you really? These are? Whoa. One at a time, yeah. And Holy cow. The I can see texturing it. on this dinosaur is the same material, except I uh, have molded... Uh, what they call negative molds where I could give the skin impression so mm -hmm. I would put the clay on and then I have a roller that would go over the top and, uh -huh. and put the skin impressions. The teeth are made from clay and or wood. Mm -hmm. uh, it mm -hmm. depends on what I have available and to And then work what about with. the eyes? That's probably the most expensive from, thing. Uh, like they're from a taxiderma shop. Okay. Because okay. Yeah. Okay. these, I mean honestly at home, this feels lighter than this little dude in clay. Yeah. Yeah, he's they're, heavy. They're now, very light. what did you do in your job that you retired from? I was a police officer. A police officer, because yeah. I started to say, you're going to tell me you were an accountant. So you weren't artistic as, as for a living. No, no, not at all. Not at you all. were a police mm -hmm. officer. These are amazing. I, I mean, they really yeah. are amazing. I try my best. I research, research them on the net and uh, to get now, skeletons. Do you freehand or, these or are, there's I, not a... Yes and no. I, uh -huh. I research them on the net and then I'll measure the bones because these are reasonably anatomically correct. Uh -huh and then I'll scale them up on the computer to the size that I want. Now the one in front of you is, is life-size. That's an actual oh, life-size okay. velociraptor, contrary to the uh, Jurassic Park movies. Uh -huh. Now I do have one that is comparable to the Jurassic Park movies. And the one here is, uh, I don't know, probably most parents couldn't relate to it. It's family's kind of called the bonehead. Uh -huh. So, you know, if you got kids that you have a hard time with, they're called boneheads, uh, the scientific family that they come from is Pachycephalosaurs, and this particular one is called Dracorex hogwartsia, which means Dragon King of Hogwarts. It was mm -hmm. named by kids after they discovered the skull several years oh, ago. Really? Yeah. And this one is just about life-size. Uh, okay. okay. And the, the, I have two others that are uh, scaled down uh, mm -hmm. if, from Jurassic Park movie, if they remember the uh, Jurassic Park 3, the Spinosaurus which was the large dinosaur with a sail on its back that caused mm -hmm. a lot of trouble. I have a replica of that in one quarter scale. Uh -huh. And then a uh, stegosaurus, a lot of people have heard of that. Oh. It's got the plates on the back, the back and the spikes yeah. on the tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I these are weather resistant, obviously, because you're talking about having them in your yard. Yeah, the, the paint, I have to repaint them occasionally. Okay. Uh, they're sealed with a, an outdoor sealer, but nonetheless weather will yeah. eventually. Yeah. But, but it's not like, I mean, they're meant to be displayed outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the intention. The hour, uh, the hours you put into this. What, what would you well, say? Well, the longest one, which is 
the one that I've donated to Serenity uh, took 700 hours of labor. 700. How but that large was, that, is it? That's uh, almost 21 feet long and seven feet high at the top of its head. Wow. Uh, generally speaking, uh, this dinosaur here took about 130 hours and this one about 150. Uh, as I get on with different dinosaurs, I get a little quicker because I learned some uh, shortcuts. shortcuts. Yeah, there exactly. wouldn't be a shortcut yeah. putting these little knots on if you had to do them all. Yeah, that um, took a lot of time. Let, let's talk about the, the dinosaur you're giving away. It's a 20 foot long Allosaurus. Is Allosaurus, right? yeah. It's a uh, dinosaur from the Jurassic period, kind of a distant relative of the Tyrannosaurus mm -hmm. rex. Uh, this is near full life size. They grew anywhere from 20 to on up to 40 feet long. And I, he, I, don't see was, a, I don't see a dime next to that one, so I don't, I'm not sure what happened. Well, <laughs> put it this way, yeah. I stare into its mouth when I stand okay. by it. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I decided that I wanted to, you know, I w was in the Baxter Bulletin with mm -hmm. these dinosaurs, and I thought that I'd, I've made these, you know, maybe I could do something for the community. So mm -hmm. I mentioned in, in the article that I would be willing to donate one to any kind of a charity that could make use of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And I was contacted by three or four charities and I chose Serenity because partly because of my career. I was a police uh -huh. officer and mm -hmm. Serenity deals mm -hmm. with domestic violence victims, mm -hmm. crime mm -hmm. victims. So I chose them and uh, so far they've been taking him around. He's, he's been at the fair, he's been in the turkey trot. Cool. And from what I've told, he's going to be brought around to the uh, Walmarts and the Harp stores on a trailer. On a trailer. And uh -huh. uh, if people would like to purchase a ticket, uh, a raffle ticket, they could get it through, uh, well, here in town at the Purple Door, mm -hmm. or there's two numbers there for the uh, Yellville and the uh, Mountain Home phone numbers for Serenity they could call and find out. Or if they should see them at the Walmarts or at the Harps, mm -hmm. go up and you know, purchase a, t uh, a raffle ticket. Obviously not many people are gonna wanna have a dinosaur on their property. Yeah. So in the event that someone just wants to make a donation and mm -hmm. should they win, they can donate it back to Serenity who already has a couple of schools that would like to adopt them oh, and good. put them on display. Yeah. Now, last month I had them on display at Hackler School. Mm -hmm. They have a very nice uh, center courtyard with mm -hmm. a, what's gonna be a uh, butterfly garden and it's completely protected. It's, it's in the middle of the school, mm -hmm. and it would be a perfect location for them. So if someone should win it and, And think, know, what am I gonna do with the dinosaur? Honey, I want a dinosaur. <laughs> well, I mean, doesn't everybody want a dinosaur yeah, on their lawn? Yeah, Now, you also have a website down there, which is www.dinosaursfoamfiber, with a GL at the end, for Ooh, fiberglass, right, dot com. Yeah. So they can go on that and, and see the dinosaurs you've made? Yes, I have uh, this, uh, a gallery, uh -huh. I have a how-to, make section which is a detail mm -hmm. section if mm -hmm. someone would like to make one uh, and then I have the tools uh, pictures of the tools and materials that I use to build oh, them oh. the easiest way to get to my website is just put in lawn dinosaurs by rich under Google uh-huh it's you know, I imagine just, lawn dinosaurs wouldn't go a lot of places either whether you get by rich or not yeah yeah no, I, it I, pops right up yeah lawn yeah. dinosaurs lawn I think dinosaur, you'd be yeah. there and so yeah. they can it says pop shop in Yellville and the purple door and the purple door here in Mountain so Home, that'd yes. be easy places for people just to stop and how much are tickets like a dollar a piece uh, a dollar a piece really? and I believe there's six for five six for five when will yeah. the drawing be uh, I was told it's going to be towards the end of the year toward the end of the year mm -hmm. okay and and, and your time. dinosaurs will be Touring around town, the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus will the be. The Allosaurus yeah. will be touring. People want to come out to Lakeview to drive by my house. They're more than welcome to take pictures and get out and you know take pictures. Bring your kids. Well, how cool! You know. <laughs> That's interesting. How cool! I love, look at this. <laughs> this and, and my, you know, I kept saying it, we're. I always had these little dogs on here all the time. I said I keep thinking this thing's gonna lick me on the nose or something. Like a little. Well, hold yours up. Yeah, I'd, li I'd like, like to in the near future oh. to start making <laughs> molds of small ones and maybe maybe try resaling, you know, a uh -huh. cottage industry type thing. eBay well, dinosaurs, like my yeah. son, who's now 27, when he was like five years old, dinosaurs ruled, let me tell you. So oh, yeah. they're very, very, with little girls also, but there will always be an industry for dinosaurs, Absolutely. let me tell you. How cool. Rich, thanks so much. And, okay. and, and we, we appreciate you being a part of, of uh, this whole thing Helping with the, people. the Purple Door. I mean, it's, it's a, I mean, you, you would expect someone from 
from Serenity to be here to represent this, but you're here, which is, it, it, it just shows that you're passionate about what you do. It's a worthwhile cause. I couldn't think of anything yeah. better to, yeah. you know, to do. So. And I yeah. told him before the show we, we were going to expose him, so we expose just did that. Expose him? <laughs> to how? <laughs> to our viewers. To our viewers. He wants to be exposed. I mean, the fact that he told everybody where he lives, his wife's going, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be this herd of cars just swinging through Glen Cove over there now. They, they do now also. They do now yeah. also. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you were over there. I'll have to come visit. Yeah. We appreciate cool. you very much. Okay, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for being here. Wonderful. Up next, we have uh, the Halloween group from uh, Pine Lane. They're here to, to promote uh, Haunted House, Rich and Mark Parkus, and friends. And friends, Stay yes. Stay with mm -hmm. us.